To start the process by which a muscle contracts, we are starting here by drawing the somatic neuron shown in blue at the top and the nerve cell illustrated in orange. And lastly, at the bottom, we have a motor unit. A motor unit is where a nerve fiber and a muscle fiber are joined together. Okay, now the muscle here is made up of many threads called fascicles. Those fascicles are made up of many individual muscle fibers known as myofibers to which within that you have containing the myofilaments consisting of four contractile proteins, myosin, actin, tropin, and tropomyosin. Here we have the axon terminal being colored in green, which is also known as the end bulb of the motor neuron, which carries many vesicles within it that carry acetylcholine, shown as the red dots. Now below is the muscle fiber, which contains many myofibrils, and within the muscle fiber we have also mitochondria, which can provide much of the ATP for the cell. All muscle fibers have a membrane called the sarcolemma outlined in black. Now, the myofibrils all contain thick and thin filaments. The thin filaments are in blue and the thick filaments are in red, shown on the paper about to pop up. From one line, Z-line, to another Z-line, and the thin filaments is where we call a sarcomere. Then we also have the T-tubules here shortly drawn in green, which surrounds around the myofibril, and surrounding that is what we call the sarcoplasmic reticulum, illustrated in the squiggly pink lines. Now, within the sarcoplasmic reticulum, there lies the terminal cisternia that contains the calcium ions stored in calcic question, but they cannot go into the T-tubules due to the calcium ion channels being blocked, and in order for those channels to open, there must be a voltage change by an action potential. Here is the end bulb, and when the action potential is triggered, it will cause the vesicles to release acetylcholine out of the end bulb. The acetylcholine will then bind to the receptors in the sarcolemma. Outside, there is a positive charge due to a surplus of sodium ions, and potassium ions are on the inside. Now, when the vesicles release acetylcholine, which will then bind onto the receptor site, which will cause the receptor to open and sodium ions are able to flow inside, which will then trigger the action potential due to a voltage change. As the action potential travels along the sarcolemma until it gets to the T-tubules from where it will travel through the T-tubules, which will then release the calcium channels to open due to the change in voltage being different, which will then release calcium ions into the T-tubules, from the terminal cisternae where calcification has been storing calcium. Once released into the channel, it will then travel downward and assist with muscle contractions. Now switching over to the sliding filament mechanism. Okay, so here we have the myosin and the myosin head with the actin binding site and ATPase on the top. In the lower drawing, we have troponin on the top, tropomyosin in the middle, and on the bottom, actin with the myosin binding site attached. In the first stage, we have the resting stage, where no contraction occurs. ADP and phosphate inorganic are bound to ATPase of myosin. Myosin binding site of actin is covered by tropomyosin. In the second image below, calcium binds to troponin, pulls troponin and tropomyosin complex off of the myosin binding site of the actin. Actin binds to myosin. This is where the cross bridge formation happens. In the first image illustrated, ADP and phosphate inorganic are released from myosin, ATPase, causing a change in the conformation of the myosin head. The thin filament is pulled toward the center of the sarcomere, which is also known as the power stroke. In the second image, ATP binds to the myosin, ATPase, which breaks the cross bridge. Lastly, in the third image, ATP is hydrolyzed, and the ADP and phosphate inorganic and energy is released. This energy is used to swivel the myosin head back to its original conformation. Myosin is now ready to form a new cross bridge with another actin protein if calcium and ATP are still available.